welcome to the far, far north coast of Scotland. I'm here for the week. I've got plenty of downtime planned, plenty of photography, and I kind of want to just take it slow and really, really enjoy the time that I have here rather than uh, rushing around seeing lots of different places. So I feel like I'm going to stay put in this little area and do a lot of walking. We'll see. I'm not sure. I uh, never really quite know um, what I'm going to, to be captured by when I get to places like this. I'm on the cliffs, as you can see behind me. Um, beautiful cliffs, north of Scotland, at its best, sunshine, a little bit windy. Um, but we'll let that one go and the birds are diving around and the colour of the water is just turquoise and I think um, I've just spent hours and hours <laughs> sitting here just watching and photographing um, and it's been so beautiful I haven't been very far actually So I'm going to show you um, my equipment so you can see what I was doing earlier. I'm just in a little bit more of a sheltered spot now so you can actually see. Um, I'm shooting with my GFX 50S. So there's a 250mm lens, a teleconverter and I have coking filters here and as you can see this holder is really quite good because it holds polarizer on the front as well as an ND filter so you can pop two on. Um, so that's what I've been shooting with today and um, I'll show you some of the captures but that's my setup. It isn't really very light but it is effective. <laughs> So I've been here all week now, um, so I've basically been alone for seven days now and I have spent a lot of time walking on these cliffs. I haven't really travelled too much in my, in my van anywhere. It's been really nice just taking really slow walks along the cliffs and um, just exploring and just taking the time to sit. I've spent a lot of time watching birds and trying to photograph them which is, I always find really, um, I find it a lovely thing to do because it's quite hard to capture birds. You have to keep going and it's quite good fun. And so I've been experimenting with slow shutter speed, fast shutter speed, and I've found that uh, quite expressive and um, quite beautiful actually. So that's been my favorite part of the photography. Um, I've also been out in the middle of the night looking for stars that didn't exist. I didn't want to come out because it's um, it's nearly midsummer, so it has been quite light at night, and it's just been a really lovely, mindful, and slow week for me in isolation, I guess. And one of the things that I always say is that it's so good to take time out for yourself by yourself if that's how you regenerate almost. So. I definitely re-energise through time alone. So if I take a week by myself, I know that I'm going to be very creative and very thoughtful and actually produce some of the best work ever, even though it's rest time. So there's a lot of leaders who actually take time like this. They know this, so they take this downtime just to have some deep thinking time. And it's very, very valuable. I have written and recorded three podcasts, two videos, and this is my third video now. 
and that's alongside all my other work so even during my rest I am really massively creative I think it's something to consider for yourself as well if you think about when you have your best ideas think about is it as it is for me in the shower when I'm driving when I'm swimming it's when your brain has that time to that space we need space to be able to have these unique thoughts so what I'm saying is I'm encouraging you to also take time um, and take a trip by yourself if that's how you want to travel not everybody wants to travel like that but if you are a landscape photographer it's really good to take time out for yourself by yourself and you'll find that you come home a completely new person as I'm sure as I, yes I definitely am going home a new person <laughs> I'm actually going to mull um, we're going home and then straight off again so I will um, see you next time on the Isle of Mull.